Hello Crafted Shutter Watchers, welcome to another fantastic video. Today we're going to talk about flying your drone in the city. And yes, I've probably made the most money I have made from flying my drones in the cities. Now, I was flying my drone in the cities long before there was uh, registration needed, or I should say a part 107, and I still abide by the rules that they had posted, and now I'm a part 107 pilot. And so I'm going to give you some tips that have truly helped me, and I hope it helps you. Now, some cities, and I don't know them all, you can't fly in. It's way too restrictive. I understand that. So this would apply to to towns and cities that of course you can legally fly in. So no, I'm not promoting you go out and do anything illegal with your drone. One reason why I picked the smaller drone over my Phantom 4 that I sold um, is because, um, I mean, it's registered and I'm a pilot, you don't have to register these, but if it falls out of the sky, it's gonna do a whole lot less damage than a bigger drone. So that is another reason I fly with this. Also, when I fly in the cities, I usually, 90% of the time, choose to fly at sunrise, okay? Now, you can do, um, you know, half hour before sunrise if you want to get some night shots, and I have done that. And yes, I add an external light to my drone to stay within regulations. So I abide by all of the regulations that I need to abide by, but... In this city, no one bothers me at sunrise. I can focus on getting the shots that I want to get. If you're not focused on getting people shots, of course, if you're focused on getting city landscapes, then I highly recommend you fly at sunrise. Also, be very aware of keeping your drone in the line of sight. Now, why do I say that? I've seen people fly their drones on YouTube behind a building and wonder why their drone crashed. Well, there is no signal from your controller that's gonna penetrate that building enough to get that drone around the other side. So keep your drone in the line of sight. I mean, use common sense, really. You can't be flying your drone up in the city. Now, there's one place I flew, it was in Buffalo. And again, this was even before anything. Um, I was circling this building that has two Statues of Liberties at the top and the signal got a little weak as it circled out uh, along the far side of it and I was paying very close attention to the signal. So pay close attention to the signal. Another time when I was in the same city in Buffalo, New York, um, I took off but it was by an electric um, subway car and my drone went berserk. And I had a very hard time bringing it down. I scraped it up a little bit, but I was able to save it. Um, be aware of interferences in the cities, power stations, anything around you, generators that could mess up your flight. So pay attention to your surroundings. Don't get in people's way. Choose good flight paths. Check out the city and where you wanna fly before you fly, even if it's on Google Maps. I have pulled in a lot of empty parking lots before sunrise, nobody's out, the city's quiet. I'm getting my job done and getting out before rush hour traffic even begins to start. And this is a safe way to fly the cities. I have flown at Charleston. I've had police standing right beside me looking at what I'm filming and talking with them and doing everything uh, publicly. If I feel like I need to tell an officer what I'm doing, I will tell him what I'm doing and show him my credentials. I will play so I'm not stressed. See, if you're flying stressed, then you're more prone to make a mistake. And you need to have a clear head when you're flying your drone so you don't lose it. I've lost a drone before. It wasn't in a city, but it's because I wasn't paying attention. It was early, it was a Phantom 3, it had no sensors on it. I clipped a rock on top of a waterfall, that was it. So I've been there, but I hope these tips help you in uh, flying your drone in a city. Yep, get out of bed and get the job done. And you are gonna be, and this is also true for your local town. And get your panoramic photos, get your videos, and get on out, get out of Dodge and go home and start editing. 
I absolutely love doing it. It is relaxing to me. It is fun to me. But I also plan carefully and pay attention to my surroundings. I pay attention to the risks that I may incur or not incur. I pay attention to the weather. Um, so yeah, be alert, have fun. And if you haven't subscribed to this channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and we will see you in the next video.